in three, two, one, action. The reason we fellowship at Highland is we follow the biblical model. Um, Acts, the second chapter, verses 42 through 47, talks about the early church, the unstoppable church that was growing with all uh, bigger. And it was because they studied the Word of God, they studied the teachings, they broke bread together, uh, they uh, fellowship, and they prayed together. And so fellowship is critical. And so when you think about the men's breakfast coming up, that's an opportunity for fellowship. This, this past weekend, we had over 160 women come together for our Mother's Day lunch. You talk about fellowship from the community, from our church. It was an amazing atmosphere. And there's so fellowship is so critical. The Leadership Summit, there's fellowship. Whenever the church comes together, the devil shudders because there's power and strength in unity. Yes, throughout Highland, we have spiritual development happening. We have shifted to Christian education and a push for education because that helps us. What our theme last year was purpose, and that means give life-giving skills to the believer. This year, in 24, we push to empowerment. And so as we do those things, purpose and empowerment, that's spiritual development. We have the aspiring ministers training every week for those who are yearning to answer the call of God, to serve in the ministry capacity. And that's what myself and Elder Charles Pulley, uh, as my assistant, and then we have the Life Applications Bible Study with Elder Feathers, Bruce Feathers, and that's amazing as they unpack uh, the Word of God over four modules. Then you have Let's Talk with our Executive Pastor, Bishop Stuart Manyweather, as he deals with life's issue. And right now, he's dealing with the Holy Spirit and really digging deep into how the Holy Spirit can impact our lives, not just on a Sunday, but in our day-to-day -day lives, empower us to serve. In fact, we talked about uh, when Jesus, last night in our studies, when Jesus uh, encouraged the uh, believer to keep asking, to keep knocking, and he says, "You, when you ask, you shall receive. When you knock, the door shall be open. When you seek, you shall find in Luke 11. But here's what's exciting. He says, well, if the natural father will do the right thing for their natural sons and daughters, how much more will your heavenly father do? But what he says, when you ask, he will give you the Holy Spirit, which was interesting last night, because the Holy Spirit is the source of our faith. The Holy Spirit is the source of our strength. And so, yes, spiritual development is gone. We also have minister training once a month on the fourth Sundays. And the next one is uh, May 26th, and that's at 1230. And we would love all ministers, all licensed ministers. We talk about things of marriage, baptism, altar call, um, uh, deliverance at the altar, prayer ministry, counseling, worship host, etc. Funeral conduction or conducting. And so so we are about equipping the saints. Also we have new believers training. We have baptism class uh, once a month. We have new believers training every week. And we also have new members training every week. A lot is happening at Highland. We believe in propagating the gospel and educating God's people, equipping God's people, equipping the saints for service in kingdom expansion. Yes, it's third Sunday, and I'm excited about third Sunday. And you know, at Highland, we built this kind of pattern of the, the early church. We break bread. We're always teaching the word every week. We break bread once a month. We've even talked about breaking bread every service, communion. Um, we fellowship once a month, 
Um, this happens to be that time for fellowship um, and prayer uh, once a month. We bring everyone together on a Sunday morning for prayer. And so at 930, um, that's May 19th, I would love to see every leader, every congregational member to come. The last time I led prayer, it was exciting two months ago. I didn't have a chance last month. But we, we have Elder Collins and Elder Feathers and myself and others who are leading prayer on a Sunday morning. But I can tell you, over 70 people came into the congregation to pray at 930. That's what I would like to see this week. As many as possible, as God leads you to come and pray. Because prayer is what will sustain us. Prayer is what we need in times like these in our lives. And so then at uh, 10 o'clock, as we consider, continue the series on activate, the church needs to activate, we're going to keep dealing with Peter and his encounter with Jesus after the resurrection. And you know, Jesus asked him three times, Peter, do you love me? And so we're going to deal with that. And uh, it's an exciting message series on activating because Peter was reinstated. No matter what you've done in your past, know that God can reinstate you. He can put you back to where you belong. Oh, yes. Uh, again, Sunday, this coming Sunday, May 19th, is such a big day for Highland. And we uh, have the corporate prayer again at 930. Got the worship service, activation. And then we move into uh, no menthol, menthol Sunday. Uh, drugs or running rampant in our community and we have some guests here at Highland and they're going to be talking about ways to counter vaping and drug use and all those things um, that are really hurting our community and then later that day at 3:30, uh, yours truly will be speaking at Allen Temple and uh, as at 3:30 CME um, and come on out with Dr. Reverend Haynes as we celebrate their annual Usher's Day. And uh, I was their speaker last year, and he said, hey, Pastor, can you come do it again? And so we're going to be talking about call to serve in love. And so I would love to see my Highland family come out. That's May 19th, 3.30 at Allen Temple. And finally, uh, this weekend we'll be talking about our new launch of the capital campaign for 2024. You have been giving through your tithes and offering. Let me again encourage you that your tithes and offering really sustains the church. And if we can get every member tithing a tenth of what God has blessed you with, we will do even more amazing ministry in the community and uh, reaching the lost for Christ. So. Capital campaign, now we have some renovation needs that we want to continue to tackle. If it comes to Highland, look at our campus. It is beautiful, but there's much more work to be done. So we need your help as we continue to uh, improve our, our worship conditions and making God's house a house of excellence. Well, God bless you. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, Dr. Nalen here where we say at Highland, we're in the right place, and we are building community and changing lives. Madeline and I love you, and we will see you this weekend. Perfect. All right.